The F-35B's vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capability is enabled by an advanced propulsion system known as the Shaft Driven Lift Fan SDLF, developed by Rolls-Royce and Lockheed Martin. This system uses a powerful lift fan placed behind the cockpit, powered by a drive shaft connected to the main engine, combined with a swiveling exhaust nozzle at the rear that directs thrust downward. Together, these components generate approximately 40,000 pounds of vertical lift, allowing the aircraft to take off vertically or in a short distance and land vertically on small decks, such as those on aircraft carriers and amphibious assault ships. Transitioning from conventional flight to vertical takeoff or landing involves opening doors on the lift fan inlet, exhaust, and stabilizing ducts, engaging the lift fan via a clutch, and vectoring the main engine's thrust downward within about 2.5 seconds. The aircraft's control systems manage this process smoothly with minimal pilot input, essentially by pushing a button. This makes the F-35B the first supersonic stealth fighter with such short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL capability enabling it to operate from smaller carriers, austere bases, and ships without traditional long runways. The F-35B thus combines advanced stealth, supersonic speed, up to Mach 1.6, and state-of-the-art avionics with revolutionary STOVL technology. This allows it to perform diverse missions including air superiority, close air support, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare from a wide array of naval platforms, dramatically enhancing operational flexibility and power projection for forces like the U.S. Marine Corps, the U.K. Royal Navy, and the Italian Air Force. In summary, the F-35B's vertical takeoff and landing work through a sophisticated lift fan and thrust vectoring system that provides massive vertical lift and precise control, enabling it to perform the versatile operations of a next-generation fighter jet from ships and austere locations worldwide.